This video will illustrate how to graph a straight line. To graph a straight line, we must find three points and put them in a table of values, and then graph those three points on a coordinate plane and draw a straight line through them. We must include all intercepts, and the best way to approach this is to do what I call the zero zero trick. We are going to find the points on the line where x equals zero and where y equals zero. These are the intercepts. Anytime you have a straight line equation with both y and x in it, you can do the zero zero trick and it will find all intercepts. Our equation is y equals two thirds x minus two. If x equals zero, y equals two thirds times zero minus two. The two thirds times zero cancels and you have y equals negative two. We have found our first intercept. If y equals zero, the equation becomes zero equals two thirds x minus two. If I move the negative two to the left of the equal sign, I have two equals two thirds x. If I divide both sides by two thirds, these cancel, my x is isolated, and 2 divided by 2 thirds is equal to 3. So I put the 3 in the table here. Now we find a third point, and we can choose any number we want for either x or y. I'm going to try making x equal to negative 6. If x equals negative 6, the equation becomes y equals 2 thirds times negative 6 minus 2, 2 thirds times negative 6 is equal to negative 4, so I have y equals negative 4 minus 2, and y equals negative 6. We have a third point, negative 6, negative 6. Now it's time to put these points on our coordinate plane. 0, negative 2 is here, 3, 0 is here, and negative 6, negative 6 is here. These points do indeed form a straight line. So what's left to do is draw a line through them, making the line go all the way through the graph. And to label the points. The zero zero trick is what we use whenever we are graphing a straight line that has both y and x in the equation. Let's do the zero zero trick again. Here we have another equation with both x and y. One half x minus one half y minus two equals zero. If x equals zero, I have one half of zero minus one half of y minus two equals zero. This cancels. I have negative a half y minus two equals zero. If I move to the, the 2 to the other side, I have negative half y equals 2. And if I divide both sides by negative a half, these cancel, and y is equal to 2 divided by negative a half, which is negative 4. I found my first intercept. If y equals 0, I have 1 half x minus 1 half times 0 minus 2 equals 0. This cancels. I have 1 half x minus 2 equals 0. 1 half x equals 2. Divide both sides by a half. These cancel. And x is equal to 2 divided by a half, which is positive 4. If we make x equal to 2 for our last point, we have 1 half of 2 minus 1 half y minus 2 equals 0. 1 half of 2 is 1. 1 minus a half y minus 2 equals 0. If I combine the 1 and the negative 2, I have negative 1 minus a half y equals 0. 
Moving the negative a half y to the other side, I have one, negative 1 equals 1 half y. And if I divide both sides by a half, these cancel. And y is equal to negative 1 divided by a half, which is negative 2. Graphing the points that are in my table, 0, negative 4 is here, 4, 0 is here, and 2, negative 2 is here. These three points do indeed form a straight line. So now I will draw a line all the way through the graph that goes through those points, and I'll label them. This is another example of using the zero, zero trick to graph a straight line when the equation has both x and y in it.